Hello class, welcome to another lesson. Uh, today's learning targets are I can use proportional reasoning to solve scale drawing problems and I can determine scale factor and use scale factor to solve problems, okay? So uh, what we're doing here is uh, I'm going to start with the first part. Okay, this video covers this first part. I know the notes has this part on the back. Uh, we're not going to quite get there yet, so you're going to have to hold on to your notes. Uh, but we're going to start by using proportional reasoning to solve scale drawing problems. Okay. So scale drawings. Over here on the left is a uh, Starbucks symbol. Okay, uh, this Starbucks symbol right here is not scaled with this picture right here. You can tell they are very different uh, because this one's kind of distorted. Okay. Uh, so this one got longer, but also uh, got shorter, right? Okay. Uh, even if I were to change it to weird stuff like uh, even make it bigger, but still right here, uh, this is still not proportional. It's bigger, longer, right here. But you can tell there's a there's a little bit of a difference, okay, uh, between the two of them, right here. This one is is a little bit longer than it is wider for, for the change, okay. Uh, it looks different, and you can tell the difference because it became it didn't go up by the same ratio it became much more longer than it became taller okay here uh, these two are scaled drawings of each other this is just a bigger version of this so uh, when I expanded it I made sure that uh, it's uh, whatever I multiplied the length by in order to get this picture I also multiplied uh, the height by it as well okay uh, these two are proportional. You can tell they're proportional because they look very much similar as opposed to these two in which uh, right here this became much more longer than it became uh, wider. Okay, uh, So these two are scale drawings right here. These two are not. So uh, scale drawings are a type of proportional relationship. Okay? When given a scale drawing problem, identify the scale and we'll talk about what that is in a moment and use it to find the unit rate. Okay, uh, you always want to set up your unit rate so that the units you you are looking for are in the numerator, and we'll talk about what that all means inside a moment. Uh, but the first question says a map has a scale of two centimeters equal to seventy-five miles. Okay, uh, if two two cities are eleven centimeters apart on a map, how far are they in miles? So uh, the first part back here says. Uh, that you want to identify the scale, okay, and then use it to find the unit rate. So that's what we're going to do each time. We're going to find the scale inside the problem and use it to find the unit rate, okay. Uh, and again, uh, you always want your unit rate set up so that you're looking for, what you are looking for is in the numerator. So the scale right here, it tells us what the scale is. The scale is 2 centimeters is equal to 75 miles. That's the scale, okay. Uh, so on a map, you'll see these scales uh, a lot, okay, to show you, okay, what does this length actually mean in real life? This is the scale right here. It says if the two cities are apart, are 11 centimeters apart on the map, how far are they apart in the mile, in, are they actually in miles? So, uh, it says to use the, what we're looking for inside the numerator to find our unit rate. So our scale is this. What we're looking for is how far apart they are in miles, okay? Uh, the 75 miles represents in real life. So we're going to start with real life at the top because we're looking for real life overall in the question. So 75, we're going to write down the scale. 75 miles, this is the scale. 75 miles, 2 centimeters. This is our scale, okay? This is our scale. And we're going to use this, oops, that's not how you spell scale, scale, S-C-A-L. Uh, we're going to use this to find our unit rate. And remember that unit rates, uh, we want to have one in the denominator. So that means we want one centimeter right here. Okay. Uh, so therefore, we need to do 75 divided by 2, because we're dividing 2 to get 1. We're going to divide this by 2, and we're, when we do that, we find we get... Uh, 37.5 miles, okay? And this is our unit rate. So we've gone from uh, rate, unit rate, uh, also known as our k value, our constant of proportionality, okay? So we've gone from our unit rate 
or scale to our unit rate, and then we're going to use our unit rate to find out how far apart they are uh, if they are 11 centimeters apart on the map. So we want 11 centimeters on the bottom. Okay, and this right here will tell us uh, how far apart they actually are. So if we do uh, what we're supposed to do, we multiply by 11, 1 times 11 is 11. We can also multiply uh, 37.5 by 11, and if we do that, we find out our error. Actual answer, they are 412.5 miles apart. So our final answer again, oops, I'm going to go down, is 412.5 miles. That's how far away they are in real life. Okay. Again, uh, we went from scale, we found our scale inside the question. Okay, put what we're actually looking for real life up here, because this is what's real life. Uh, at the top, <coughs> made our unit rate and used our unit rate to uh, find out how far they are if they're 11 centimeters. So this is our final. Okay, and our answer is this part right here, uh, 412.5 miles. That's how far apart the two cities are in real life. Uh, the next question says, uh, floor plan of a house was drawn using the scale of 3 centimeters to 4.5 meters. Find the actual length of the living room if it is 5 centimeters on the drawing. Again, we're going to find our scale inside the question, and the scale is given to us right here. This ratio is the scale, and we're asked to find the actual length of the living room if it is 5 centimeters on the drawing. The actual length uh, is represented by the meters right here, so we're going to use 4.5 meters at the top for our scale. So our scale is 4.5 meters to 3 centimeters. This is our scale. And we're going to use this to find our unit rate. And I don't know why that's not writing. Slow computer. There we go. Uh, and use that to find our unit rate. So that means that we're going to divide both the numerator and the denominator by 3 in order to get 1 at the bottom because that's what unit rates do. 10, like that says C, there we go. Centimeters. Let's just do that over again. Here we go. Do, 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 divide both of them by 3 to get 1 centimeters. And if we do that, uh, we find that the top becomes 1.5 meters. Again, this is our unit rate, also known as our K value, okay? Uh, so we now have found that. Uh, so what we're going to do then is multiply this 1 uh, by something to get 5 centimeters because that's what it is inside the drawing, 5 centimeters, okay? Again, the drawing is on the bottom, actual life is on top. So we're going to multiply 1.5 by 5. We get uh, 7.5. Five meters. Okay, so again, we went from scale to unit rate, and then from unit rate to our final, which we used information from the actual question right here to determine uh, what we needed to have in our denominator in order for us to find out what the actual length of the living room it is if it is a five centimeters on the drawing. Okay. Uh, and so our final answer, again, is going to be 7.5 meters. Okay. Scale to unit rate to final. And always keep what we're looking for at the top. So, oops, yep, there we go. Uh, on a map, okay. uh, on a map, we are going to... Uh, find the scale of one half centimeters equals 65 kilometers. If China and New Sweden are 4.5 centimeters apart on the map, how far are they really? Uh, our scale, as we can see, is half centimeter equals 65 kilometers. That's our scale. And we want real life because it says how far apart are they really, and the 65 kilometer part uh, represents the real life. So we're going to create our scale. <coughs> Okay. In order to find out how far they are apart recent in real life, uh, we do 65 
kilometers to one half centimeters. Okay, and uh, from there, uh, this is our scale. Okay, again, uh, what we're looking for real life is at the top. Okay, then uh, we are going to create our unit rate. Uh, one half times two gets us one centimeter, so we're going to multiply the top by two as well, uh, which gets us 130. 30 kilometers. Kilometers. Okay. And so again, this is our unit rate because uh, we have one in the denominator and our unit rate also known as our K value. Okay. Uh, here, then it says that if they are 4.5 inches apart on the map, so that means that 4.5 on the map, map is on the bottom, not real life. Real life is at the top. Uh, 4.5 centimeters, by the way. Uh, centimeters. We're going to multiply both the top and the bottom by 4.5, which gets us 580 uh, five kilometers. Okay. Uh, and again, this is our final because we're saying that 585 kilometers is 4.5 centimeters on the map, okay. uh, which is our final, okay? So again, we went from scale to unit rate to final, which means our final answer for this question is 585 kilometers. Go ahead and try the last two questions out on your own. So, uh, if you did the last two correctly, uh, again, we want the actual length of the floor plan, right, uh, at the top. So, 8 feet to 2 thirds inches is our scale. Uh, and then we uh, figure out that 8 divided by 2 thirds uh, is going to be 12 feet to 1 inch, okay. Uh, or you can figure out what you need to multiply uh, 2 thirds by to get 1, which is 3 halves or 1.5, uh, which will still get you 12 feet, okay. Uh, then we use that to multiply by 2.5 to both the top and the bottom to find our actual length, which is 30 feet, 30 feet right here. Okay. Uh, here, uh, here we uh, find that the ratio, uh, the scale is uh, three feet to three fourths of an inch. Uh, again, you figure out what you need to multiply uh, three fourths by to get one, or you can just do three divided by three fourths. Uh, to get four inches, okay, uh, or you can do three fourths times four thirds to get you one inch, okay, and do that to the top and the bottom. Uh, then you need to take that scale, and we're going to apply it both to the length and the width because it wants the actual dimensions, okay. Uh, so this is four feet to one inch, and we're going to find four inches because this four inches right here, okay. Uh, so multiply by four, we get four inches is actually 16 feet. Uh, we do the same thing down here, except we're going to do it with the 5.5. So we're going to use the same unit rate because that comes from the same scale. Okay, We use the same scale for both of these. Uh, and then find out that it's going to be 22 feet. Five and a half inches on the uh, blueprints gets you 22 feet in real life. So our final answer is 16 by 22 feet. Go ahead and try the practice.